हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू माई ऑर्किड वर्ल्ड फ्यू डेज बैक आई हैड ऑर्डर थ्री नोवल्टी हाइब्रिड फेलानोपिस ऑर्किड्स फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट सेलर्स आई विल लेट यू नो हु इज द सेलर जस्ट लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द अनबॉक्सिंग दिस इज एन अनबॉक्सिंग वीडियो ऑफ द फेलानोपिस ऑर्किड्स लेट अस सी इन वॉट कंडीशन दे हैव कम लेट अस सी द पैकिंग एंड द टर्जिडिटी ऑफ द box that is just come as you can see it is uh, in quite a uh, hardy box there are few holes that are given for uh, air passage so that the plants are not suffocated so let us just start uh, unboxing the video so i have opened one of the sides and you can see the packings inside let us uh, bring it out there are three phalaenopsis orchids here is one is the second one and here is the third one and she has sent me the estimate in hard copy form she had already sent me in whatsapp this estimate is the same thing she has sent me in whatsapp we usually communicate through whatsapp she sends me the list of new plants available and i just select them estimate and uh, then she packs the things and then sends it to me also she sends this uh, hard copy a printed form of the estimate so in this way i have been uh, buying orchids from her uh, for quite a long time it's been years now so let us see how she has packed it as you can see she has packed it in newspaper uh, it's quite tightly packed nicely packed Initially when I started communicating with her buying phalaenopsis I was a bit wary as maybe all of you are so gradually when I started dealing with her more often then I uh, kind of had a um, trust built with her she has always been sending me healthy plants this is one as you can see the plant is quite healthy nice shiny leaves the name is written it is phalaenopsis bellina which is a species and it has quite very scented blooms the media is quite dry i need to water it it can be understand understood because it has traveled almost uh, for 7 days to reach me let us unbox the second one packing is similar she is quite a professional in uh, selling orchids she has been doing it for quite a some time she imports all these orchids from abroad from other countries she has a license for it for importing orchids because when you import orchids from uh, other countries so you do require a license for it this is another one quite nice healthy leaves quite shiny no damage at all this is uh, maybe in transport it happened but uh, i'm sure it will heal up this is not going to affect the orchid in any way this is the phalaenopsis tetraspis very beautiful flowers and uh, one very interesting fact about this tetraspis is that each bloom uh, is different in terms of the color of the petals sometimes you may get all white blooms sometimes you may get all red blooms and there are intermediate combinations of red and blue color in the petals so in that way tetraspis is uh, quite an interesting phalaenopsis orchid let us unbox the third one my seller has told me that uh, all these three are blooming size orchids they will bloom in the next season as you can see the novelty hybrid 
orchids have similar looking leaves this is the purple mountain it is written inside in the tag this is uh, this phalaenopsis has purple colored blooms very nice i was uh, trying to have this for a very long time she has wrapped in newspaper so that extra water is soaked and it doesn't damage the phalaenopsis orchid as you may have seen oh there is a spike here as you can see i'm surprised and i am happily surprised you can see the spike here it has just started emerging so i should take special care for this uh, phalaenopsis orchid it is going to bloom these are all summer blooming orchids summer blooming phalaenopsis orchids the novelty hybrids as uh, many of us know they do not depend on the temperature difference which usually other phalaenopsis hybrid orchids uh, depend on there should be a, a temperature difference in the daytime and the nighttime but these novelty hybrids do not depend on the temperature difference these are all spring blooming orchids and i'm sure this new spike that uh, is uh, a quite a surprise and it should bloom for me at least i should be able to see one bloom at least then it will make me happy so as you have seen the plants are quite healthy all the three plants are quite healthy they cost me uh, quite an amount i will not disclose the amount but yes if you are collector these are uh, surely for you these are collectors orchids quite uh, pricey i should say and the seller is tree of life from the state kerala i have been buying orchids from her for years now she is a trusted seller for me she has never disappointed me in terms of uh, blooms in terms of the orchids though i have lost many orchids from her not because of the transit or say uh, but because of my carelessness maybe so if you want you can contact me for her contact numbers the first step step that you should take is to free the roots from the media you must have seen that your orchid comes packed in sphagnum moss tightly around the roots sphagnum moss is a very water retaining media which if not removed can lead to root rot and eventually crown rot you may lose your orchid altogether this is especially important for phalaenopsis orchids which are very prone to root rot and crown rot and once crown rot happens you know it may not be possible for you to save your orchid remove the media from the roots make the roots breathe and just make the orchid sit on the media on top of the media without burying the roots once new roots start appearing when you see new roots report the orchid in a proper setup using bark chips and sphagnum moss as of now my three orchids that uh, i received few days back are just sitting on the media on sphagnum moss and once new roots start appearing i will pot them in a proper setup till then they will be sitting like this in that media it's been one month now the phalaenopsis orchids have uh, adapted well to my climate they have started growing new roots all the three phalaenopsis orchids have survived there was no root loss uh, neither any chances of uh, crown rot since i had freed the roots uh, from the media that came uh, tightly snugged in around the roots you can see the roots have started growing new roots have grown all the three orchids look healthy there was uh, no damage no leaf loss no root loss nothing uh, of the sorts and so uh, now since they have grown new roots it is time for them to be potted in the respective pots this particular phalaenopsis orchid had two spikes which are of the same uh, length as they came uh, the phalaenopsis orchid was uh, mainly directing its energy to get adapted to my new climate that is uh, new for them and hence uh, the spikes have not grown uh, uh, from the size that they came in 
so now probably uh, hopefully the spikes will grow the the spikes looks well good and uh, the media also uh, is very fresh that came with the three phalaenopsis uh, orchids it's time to repot them i will use uh, a few bark pieces and uh, fewer pieces of fewer strands of sphagnum moss uh, it will make the medium airy and also the roots will be able to breathe they will be not uh, snugged in into the pot i have few bark pieces left i need to order them and the sphagnum moss that came with the phalaenopsis orchids look quite fresh quite uh, uh, yellow uh, brownish and they look quite fresh so they are not at all decomposed so i will be using this sphagnum moss uh, it has dried a bit and very well suitable for uh, potting the phalaenopsis orchid few old pots were lying around in my shade house i will be using them for reporting the three phalaenopsis orchids they are quite okay uh, no damage at all just i had removed the orchid that was sitting in that pot to some other uh, pot bigger pot it needed an upscaling so i have filled the bottom part with a layer of bark what uh, happens is that when you are reporting phalaenopsis orchids it is very important that the media does not retain too much of water so putting a layer of bark at the bottom helps to uh, remove the extra water that will seep in towards the bottom when you water it and it will help uh, not to Oh, send the water upward see if you put a layer of sphagnum moss what happens is it will retain too much of water and it will uh, seep in the water upward towards the orchid towards the phalaenopsis orchid and there are chances that there will be root rot if the media is too much uh, moist or too wet and hence you should always put a layer of bark or charcoal pieces at the bottom most part so i have used very few sphagnum moss strands and more of bark always keep the root part free from media uh, say bark or sphagnum moss so that it can breathe so it does not remain too wet and i am done with the potting of the first orchid first phalaenopsis orchid it will go back to my shade house and uh, always place a layer of bark at the top also then it will remove the chances of uh, mold formation on your orchids if you put a layer of sphagnum moss it will remain wet it will remain moist and there are chances of mold formation on the media which looks uh, very um, unscenic you should say so put, always put a layer of bark on the top layer here is another orchid that i have already reported and i am done with the reporting i'll water this three orchids thoroughly it is very important to water them uh, after you report uh, your orchid and uh, now after watering they will go back to my shade house it looks quite well i need to keep an eye on this three because they are very fresh the leaves uh, are very new and it's uh, a rainy season quite humid very humid almost 95 to 96% humidity every day so uh, there are chances of insects pests and uh, snails and slugs which may try to eat this new orchids because they are uh, new to my shade house and they will love to munch on these leaves so i need to keep an eye on all these three every day i usually check my orchids every day and hence i will notice if anything if any snail tries to uh, come near this orchids and uh, i will be able to get rid of it so uh, here are the three orchids uh, hope this video was helpful for you this is the way you should report your orchids please leave your comments in the comment section about uh, how you report your orchids uh, what is your experience with phalaenopsis orchids
होप यू लाइक द वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग